this time? Probably like the fifth grade. Really? Yeah, but I didn't start playing competitively until about seventh grade. It's fun to play, even if you suck or whatever. You just—it's always fun to play, even when you get really high up in this level. It's—I just like to play. It's fun. Overwhelming, you can say. Did you try to because jump in too far into it? It's not basically trying to learn a completely new way to move and just learn something completely new because there's so many aspects of it that you can't see by watching it. I guess, and it's just hard to learn it and just pick up on all of it. It takes a lot of practice. It was my ninth grade year. Year, I don't know right now, but it was in uh, Columbus at the Columbus Greater Convention Center called the uh, Arnold Classic. Actually, it went pretty well. I placed second in my first event. I competed every year in the Arnold and two to three tournaments other than the Arnold, so I played about four tournaments every year. I've traveled uh, up to the Cleveland actually to play a tournament. And I've been down south of uh, Cincinnati for another one. So I travel a little bit. Uh, a lot of the tournaments we go to, or we both compete in, they know we're siblings. They usually don't put us in the same bracket. So you never had to play them? Really I've never had to play them competitively, but even when we do play, we do get pretty serious. So it's, I really don't make anything of it. When there was someone who came up to me and talked about me getting coached, and then my coach talked about getting me a better coach. And then my, and then that coach from there started just doing a bunch of works and drills with me. And then I just got noticed from there, and I guess that's why. I mean, really, in America, there's nowhere you can go with it unless you're, like, probably the best in the state or the best in the country. Really, I just see it taking me to just me being really happy and having fun playing it. It's just that cricket. It's, it's, a just a, it's just a really fun hobby. Okay. Uh, but I have a fun one. Uh, I was at my local club. There was this 10-year-old uh, who was uh, doing an exchange program with a family, and he showed up with, this, with that family uh, to play. He didn't speak a word of English. He was only spoke Japanese, but he was incredible. He played against the top three players of our club and just demolished them. Like, he was just insane with what he was quick, and he, was, he had a very soft touch, meaning he was very yeah. good at controlling it. No, <laughs> didn't want to. I didn't want to humiliate humiliate myself.